Hi guys, welcome to Zawski TV Recaps channel. Today, I'm going to show you a 2006 animation movie called Cuts. There are heavy spoilers ahead, so watch out and take care. During the last race of the 2006 Piston Cup racing season, a skilled but arrogant hockey race car named Lightning McQueen overtakes seven-time champion Strip the King Strip Weathers and perennial runner-up Chick Hicks. However, due to Lightning's refusal to have his tires changed during pit stops, his rear tires burst into flames on the final lap. Lightning just barely managed to cross the finish line simultaneously with Chick and the King resulting in a three-way tie. Race officials announced that the three racers will compete in a final tiebreaker race at the Los Angeles International Speedway in one week. While traveling down Interstate 40 to California, Lightning becomes separated from Mac's transport truck and gets lost on the US Road 66, catching the attention of the local Radiator Springs Sheriff in the process. A chase ensues during which lightning crashes and gets tangled in wires, damaging part of the town's main street in the process. Lightning is taken to traffic court where the town's lawyer Sally Carrera pleads against lightning. He is sentenced to repaving the road using Bessie, an asphalt laying machine. Only interested in leaving and extremely furious, he makes an escape attempt before being hooked up only to figure out that his gas tank was drained off. Lightning rushes through his first day of bathing and the new road surface is so bumpy, unusable, uneven and poor that he is told he must scrape it off and start over again. When Doug Hudson offers Lightning a deal beat in a race around Willis Butte and he is free to go, Lightning eagerly accepts. He leaves Doc in the dust at the starting line but loses control on the loose dirt and crashes into a cactus patch. While the town's tow truck meter holds lightning out of the cactus patch in which he landed, Doc effortlessly cruises to finish line after informing lightning that he races like he fixes roads. Lightning is compelled to scrape off the poached pavement and start over again. After lightning completes a section of the road for the night, meter asks if he would like to do something fun. He finds out that meter was talking about a game called tractor tipping. Lightning tries to back down but is convinced by Mitt. Mitter shows him how to tip a tractor. He sneaks up to one sleeping and suddenly blurs his horn, causing the tractor to react and tip over backward and fall, backfire. Lightning having a go, approaches the tractor with Mitter urging him to do. Lightning then roars engine, waking every tractor in the field with all of them tipping over and farting all at once. We have a laughing moment but suddenly awake Frank, a red combined harvester with the personality of a bull who chases them out of the field by threatening to grind them up with his blade. As the following days pass, Lightning is disturbed by nightmares of Chick Hicks winning the Piston Cup and landing Dinico. He starts to befriend the town's residents and learn more about the town in the process. How Radiator Springs was once a thriving town until completion of the nearby interstate bypass the little town, depriving it of its business traffic and visitors and ironically depriving those passing visitors of the natural beauty found in the scenery along the old highway. How Sally left behind her rich but unhappy life as an urban lawyer, what tractor tipping is, and how Doc Hudson was once a famous race car himself, the Hudson Hornet and three-time Western Cup champion until a horrible crash in 1954 ended his racing career. Doc bitterly refuses to reveal much about his past despite Lightning witnessing him expertly drifting through the loose dirt of the Willis Butte where Lightning crashed, labeling his old trophies as a bunch of empty cups. By the time Lightning finishes repaving Radiator Springs main road, he has formed a bond with the town and its residents. Rather than immediately leaving for California, as he had initially been eager to do, he spends the day touring the town's businesses, receiving a fresh coat of paint and new tires in the process, and participates in a cruise party that night. But he is suddenly found, then whisked away in his truck Mac without even a chance to bid a farewell to a to his prince. Town's residents are sad to see him leave, and Sally is grumpy 
to learn that it was Doc who ultimately informed the media of Lightning's whereabouts. Final race among Lightning, the King and Chick opens with what the race's commentators call the biggest race in history. Lightning is distracted by his memories of Radiator Springs, losing time to the King and Chick Hicks and begins to fear he will simply lose. To his surprise, Doc Hudson has arrived at the race with Meta and a few others from Radiator Springs who will serve as his pit crew. Doc, once again wearing his original Hudson's horn racing stripes, takes over as Lightning's crew chief with Doc's coaching a record fast pit stop for new tires and a few tricks learned from the small town's inhabitants. Lightning is not only able to overtake his opponent but has built a considerable lead by the final lap. As Lightning approaches the final line, Chickside wipes the King in a desperate attempt to avoid finishing behind him yet again, sending the King into a terrible rollover crash. Lightning, fearing that the King's racing career will end in the same way as did the Hudson's Hornets, comes to a full stop right before the finish line. Choosing to accept loss after Chick gleefully crosses the finish line and celebrates his victory, Lightning then backtracks to push the old hand racer across the finish line ahead of him, saying that I think the king should finish his last race. Although Chick Hicks has officially won his first Piston Cup title, he begins to learn that it's a hollow victory as he jeered and despised by the fans and media for taking out the King, while McQueen is cheered as a hero for his good sportsmanship. Tex from Dinoco, the King's sponsor company, offers to support Lightning as his new sponsor. But Lightning, having now had a change of heart, respectfully declines, saying that his current sponsor, Rusty's, gave him his big break and he wanted to continue with them. After the race, Lightning returns to Radiator Springs, announcing that he will establish his racing headquarters there. This helps revitalize the town and draw back visitors and tourists, with the once abandoned Road 66 being classified as Historic Road 66